You said Steiny. I don't feel like people think this is a big game. Yeah, no doubt. And let me tell why you why. Why do you say that? Because of the sideshow that is Steve Wilkes. This is a big deal. Well, I think he's getting scapegoated. I don't think he likes being on the sideline, but I'll leave that alone. The defense is taking a step back. The offense is taking a step back. So now I'm asking you and anybody that will listen, who is the real Brock Purdy? And I'm not hating on the kid because I gave him his flowers, but I am starting to wonder if we get a one touchdown, two interception game, and somehow they come from Florida with an L, what are we then talking about? And I told you my answer. You have to talk about Sam Darnold and what? how close is he from taking Whoa. over the reins. Whoa. You, I mean, they're one game you better away be from careful. being five and four. I am. Okay. I'm I tired know. of everybody <laughs> living in red, Little Red Riding Hood. This team was five and oh. They were beat Dallas, and I was having them. Norm's got a ticket for him to win the NFC and Super Bowl, and he's stressing, and we're just walking on eggshells. Well, let's say what's going on with the Niners. Nobody knows. I'll tell you what's going on with the Niners. I know you don't. Yeah, this is therapeutic. I'm I letting it all out. I know you don't respect my football opinion. No, I know you because I know you're one of these stick to basketball Stein men. I never like. What that. do you think? Do you know more than Kurt Warner? No, I'm not. Uh, you sure? Yeah. Well, here's what Kurt Warner says. I think you're seeing good play from Brock Purdy in, your in these last three games. I mean, obviously, there's things that you would love to change. He's thrown more interceptions, obviously, in the last three than he's thrown in his entire NFL career. So everybody is going to hang exactly. on those things. But if you look at the entirety of Thank how you. he's playing, you break down it play by play, he's still playing really, really mm. good football. They haven't been able to finish mm. as much as they did early in the year. Their defense obviously Kurt. isn't playing nearly as well. Mm. All right. Here's my inner guru. So, uh, nothing to see here. Yes, there is. No, that's Kurt Warner. I'm not, oh, hey, he's got a little further in his Brock. career than you and mine. And Lori Matthews, we tweeted each other oh. last night, our girl, Arizona. What up, Lori? I'm not putting it at his doorstep, but Kurt, damn it, when it's 17 to 10 and you're driving and you're at home and you throw an interception to a backer not knowing the rules. Bad route. No, it wasn't a, a terrible route. route. It, he, it got he gave picked up off. On, he gave up on the now, route. Are you know what play I'm talking about? Was the oh, one handed yeah. pick. So it wasn't even the receiver wasn't even involved. Oh, the one down. It was a legal man line? down for, Yeah, dude, that ain't good. And that's like you coming to see that's me in jail, like harmless. guru. If you're coming to see me in jail and you're looking at me through the window, guru, your life's headed in the right direction. No, it ain't. <laughs> I did something to get put in the claim. Come on, man. I'm not but this. The I'm just one. telling you, yeah, one of those. They got to win. Is this a must win? It's a must win in my book. This yeah. is in their favor. See, this is, but hold on, Goo. Hold on. I'm letting it all out. Do you remember when he came in today? I said, hey, I told Nahigian I had something on my mind. Oh, yeah. For a topic. I do remember. I told Nahigian, and Nahigian goes, that's a that's a good idea. That's good. That's good. Good yeah, thinking. I remember. Who, who thought of it? Because I know you didn't. I give him a three. And I was like, no, I, that's funny, but it's not. And it's one of the reasons people don't think you're funny is because you think you're funny when you're not, Matt. But uh, anyway, uh, he said, uh, yeah. So then you come out now. Oh, uh, I, I'm all set to start my show with my question. And the next thing I know, Nahigian, right before air goes, hey, Steiny, what do you think 49ers fans are going to say if they lose 20 to 13 and Brock throws two intercept, oh one gosh, touchdown and two man. interceptions. And I'm like, okay, well, he wants an overreaction out of me because that's no, what they No, he doesn't. Lost. Okay, so I see, okay, they're five and four. They've lost four in a row. And I'd say back to the drawing board. Got to get back to basics. But you just had, you're coming off a week off. Sa say what you said. I just said it. Say it again. That if somehow Brock Purdy struggles or is pedestrian and has more interceptions than touchdowns, when is Sam Darnold a, a conversation? Are we one bad game? Are you saying no, are we I one did, bad game? I'm being real with you, Stani. I think we're two. Now, a bad game. He didn't have a bad game against the Bengals, but he wasn't his stellar self. But I'm saying two bad games, including this one, I think there could be a – this is – Wilkes is being scapegoated whether you like it or not. <laughs> I think he's one and done, Calipari. There he might is not no be one. He might be nine games and done. Wow. The good news is... All right, he, give a, get a good The good news, news is he, slow down. he was built for this. Who was built for this? Uh, Wilkes. Wilkie. There's got to be something. There's a joke out there about Wilkes Booth, and I don't know what it is. You going Abraham Lincoln? Yeah. Oh. Somebody, got, somebody make up a joke about Wilkes Booth. 
Yeah, he's not in the booth anymore, but John Wilkes Booth killed Abraham Lincoln. There's got to be something there. There's got to be a dad joke there. Mm-hmm. Okay, let me, ta- let me ask you something, 49er fans. If I gave you the choice of two things to talk about, which one would it be? First one would be, what are we doing if the 49ers lose mm. Sunday and they go to five and four? Oh. What Boy. will that mean? Will it mean it's time to think about a quarterback change? Okay, no, no, no. That's, we can talk about that. But here was my idea that even the boss said was really great. Hey, Goo, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. This is where I'll start. How, Shadowhand's in his seventh year. How would you describe the 49ers' quarterback situation since Kyle Shanahan became the head coach? Yeah, happy with it? Uh, you like it? How's, how's the quarterback situation? Hey, he's been here seven years. I'm have, we been, have we been a quarterback, 49er fans? This is Has he done a nice job? What do you think? 888-957-9570. Can I grade it first before I give my explanation? Uh, you, guru? I'm going to give him a C. Oh. And the reason I'm going to give him a C is what's saving his ass is what he got out of Jimmy Garoppolo. And when you watched, I was in the barbershop yesterday. Shout out DNR, uh, Stani. You know what? Hold uh, on, hold Marky on, hold D. on. We, I, I'm not going to interrupt you now, but I am going to put haircut barber. <laughs> uh, down as a, down as a note. Barber. <laughs> down as a note. I, wanna, I guess, anyway, do want to ask you something. Haircut. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, haircut. Uh, so I'm feeling good. Yeah, well, haircut, I got my secret sauce in it today. Hair, okay. But listen. Yeah. The debacle that was... The Trey Lance situation and miss was buried. It was in the cemetery, and the cemetery was locked up. And we all had forgot about it because this the emergence of this young guy from mm. Iowa State hit the ground running, selling hit records left and right. <laughs> so Kyle got a pass for that debacle because the euphoria of number one hits left and right, 13 of them, yeah. was the new Brock Purdy. But now Brock has come down to earth somewhat. And if he continues to do so, I have to go dig the body up that is the Trey Lance pick, put it on the autopsy table, oh, man. and ask for accountability. Oh boy! So when you ask me about Kyle and the quarterback situation since he's been here, yeah. that is a demerit. Oh, my. But what, what p- p- picks you up? Yeah is what you got out of Garoppolo. Two trips to the, three trips to the NFC Championship game, uh, a Super Bowl appearance, and now you're watching, well, he didn't play in Philly, he was on the sideline, I count that, but the one they won when they beat the, uh, listen, sure. so I'm giving you credit because Jimmy exposed himself in another system. Every time I watched Jimmy step back, t- uh, take a, of a snap for the Raiders, it was like I felt better about Kyle because he got the best out of Jimmy. So now Brock Purdy has the ball, sort of like the Three Stooges on the. Remember they run that play. What play? student body left? The Three Stooges. Yeah, Larry Curley and Mo. You ever see the poster where they're on the football field and they're handing the ball off to Curley? Yeah. I actually so have. if he gets through the goal line and is who he is, there's nothing to see here. But Stani, if this young man continues to let's just say be average, and they lose. Come on, man, Kyle. You all—it's all hell's coming. I think you're seeing good play from Brock Purdy in these last three games. I mean, obviously, there's things that you would love to change. He's thrown more interceptions, obviously, in the last three than he's thrown in his entire Let's NFL career. There. So no, everybody is going to hang on those things. I but can't if you stop look at it. the entirety of okay. how he's playing, you break down it play by play, he's still playing really, really good football. Really good. They haven't been able to finish as much nope. as they did early in the year. Their defense nope. obviously isn't playing nearly as well. And one of the things I've noticed in my ye- one ahead. of the things in my years of sports that I've noticed, particularly in football, Daryl, is the quarterback tends to get more of the blame right. and more of the credit uh, than he truly deserves. He had more credit than Equifax when he was winning and getting playoff wins, so he got the credit. I'm talking about Brock. With people were saying, "Is he Montana? What track is he on?" And you know what? He may be that. But gosh, Donnie, I, I watch these games again. I fall asleep I to what. them. And I just can't believe they had the ball, woulda, coulda, shoulda, in Minnesota. They didn't get it done. He could have run the script. Guy ran a terrible route. Okay, Cincinnati, you just get drubbed at home. Yeah, guy and made then what a else great am I, play. Cleveland. Yeah, guy missed the kick. And what's saving Brock? And guy I got to give him is his legs. Well, He is shifty, 
But that ain't what we're talking about. What are we talking about? When you go up against a stout defense yeah. and they take the running away from you, some of these interceptions have been Jimmy-like, late no, not and high over the middle. No. That's where you're going Hurst too far. Hurst throwing him a bone. That's where you're going. That's where I think you're going too far. Not even throw Jimmy throws. I ain't out on Brock. I'm just saying. No, but you are. You don't got as long as you think. Oh, a stinker. Pepe Le Pew. Let's like that boy. But yeah, come on, Steiny. So somebody help me here. So Kyle Shanahan gets the job. All right, and he's got what? Mullins and Bethard. Oh, that's just start. stinky. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nothing to see here. Yeah, yeah he's got to take. He's got to make do with what. Then they trade for Garoppolo. Right. Okay. All right. We got Jimmy Garoppolo. He gets hurt, but yeah, Garoppolo, okay. Ah, we're not crazy about Garoppolo. Let's go draft Trey Lance, okay? Maybe he'll be good. James Wise. We draft Jay La uh, Trey Lance. Well, he's not good, okay? Now what are we going to do? We go back to Garoppolo. Okay, we'll go back to Garoppolo. You got lucky. Okay, now, oh, Garoppolo's hurt. But I, well, we got to go to Brock Purdy. Yeah. Hey. We got to go to the seventh round pick. Okay, well, that's where we're at right now with Brock Purdy and the 49ers are 5-3, and three, and they're starting a seventh round pick. That's fine. But now think about this, Goo. Let's go, let's go back to the start. Think of the quarterbacks whose names have been out there. Okay. Tom Brady. No doubt. Won a Super Bowl. Could have been yours. I don't think the 49ers wanted Tom Brady. And, but not them. I don't think Kyle okay. wanted him because he's a control freak and he wants to credit. He the, didn't want to share. What about Aaron Rodgers? I think the same the reason why okay. they didn't take a flyer. Matt Stafford got traded to uh, division rival, nope, so he was available. Yeah. I, but, so I'm telling you. And then what about Kirk Cousins? That's still to me okay. now. So how has he handled the quarterback situation? I give him a C. I mean, it, oh, I didn't even. Couldn't you, theory, couldn't you actually say, you know what? He probably could have gotten. Brady. There's no doubt. Probably could have gotten. Brady wanted to play for Rogers. his home team. Stanley. Probably could have gotten. So then. It's Frank Sinatra. He? he wants to do it his That's way. Right. I agree. Those quarterbacks are going to be like, you know what? Keep your little sheet. I'm going to control this. And maybe he didn't want to do that. But I got to read this on the uh, first NorCal credit union, Donnie, because it's so just, it's from grunge. Uh, goo, you propped up BP, Brock Purdy, oh, and now boy. you're bashing him. Yeah. Grunge. 31. Yeah. I'm 91. I need shit. Grunge. Uh, readers. Is it grunge? Well, no, grunge. And, and Why would you say grunge? Grunge is his Yeah, name. that's what I said. And then you said grudge I like I got to miss up. Irvine. I'm doubting my eyes right now, Stani. But listen, I, I'm i not bashing. Well, I'm no, telling you the possibilities are going to get real for others like Sam Darnold if but, this team somehow doesn't get But don't you see? You're planting negative seeds. Court. If I do that, people say no, I'm negative. I'm, putting the, I'm setting the chessboard out. The positives are there. I'm putting everything I own. It ain't much. On the Niners minus three. I know it's they not cannot much, lose this game. but it's the best I can do. Who is that? Melton John. Oh, I, I, you want me? To, I'll just look around the room and make predictions because I'm having a hell of a year. Let me tell you who's not going to be able to get it done. Take it to the bank. Stephen Vote. Oh, he got a job. Stephen Vote. Ask Willard trouble, that today. trouble brewing on Lake Erie. You got to hire somebody with more gravitas. Oh, Steiny. Do you see the thing he does with the referees? Yeah. Now, that, how does that translate into being a great Now, what if they manager? win 95 games? Then what he can say, hey, Ron Washington, Sherman Hensley got a job. Yeah. <laughs> with the Angels, Otani. Yeah, he's staying now for sure. No. Hey, the, I heard the Giants are getting ready to make a big <laughs> Coffee's big for pitch. We'll get into that on the crossover. Yeah. No, we won't. Nobody's going to no get excited until you close the season. No crossover today, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> we always have crossover. We had, we had I, I got one of the greatest, fun. I got one of the greatest pieces of advice of all time from my boss yesterday. Let's just put it that hey, way. Hey, you want to share? Basically, wrap it up. <laughs> you won't. Assess. You won't quit on us. And then determine. You won't quit on us. Assess <laughs> and then determine. Hey, yeah. I appreciate you not. Pushed around. Yeah, you're not fighting me on the bro like. This is a Niner story. <laughs> I ask you this: Do you think there's water on the boat, like a sprinkle? And there's a, here's one of his questions again. I can't answer that. So, how symbolic is Wilkes on the sideline? Is it nothing to you? Because to me, it's signaling a lot. All right, now that stuff is now, going now on. I like that one. I Some like stuff that is one. going on, and he's playing the role. Stani, <clears throat> I think he's upset. 
I get the players want him there, but this defense was ferocious, and now all of a sudden it don't like the Alpo. Steve Wilkes, right in your face, right here. I can honestly say I'm sort of built for this, you know, not not in an arrogant way, but uh, I've always believed it's, it's certain, you know, it's, it's two things. It's what you hear and what you listen to. I hear a lot of the outside noise. I don't listen to it, good or bad, you know. Uh, as you mentioned, I've been doing this for a while. I understand the emotions uh, of this game and, and what we play at this level. Uh, I try not to be emotional. Uh, we're five and three. The standard is so high here, and we lost three in a row that everybody feel like the ceiling is collapsing on us. Uh, we're in a good position. Uh, we need to turn it around. So uh, we got a lot of football ahead of us. You know, we want to start progressing, get better in November and start playing our best in December. So mm. I've seen this. I've been around this. I can take it. I'm the new guy in, you know. Uh, okay. It is what it is. Uh, I have confidence in myself, most importantly. I have confidence in those players and the coaches uh, that uh, we're together uh, and we're going to come through this. I'm rooting for this man. Can I tell you something I didn't like? Tell me. I'm not emotional. Well, Cap, this job, the defensive coordinator, the last two before you, look like crazy wild well, dog then, then on the sideline. Shouldn't line. they have hired a crazy loud that's dog? That's where I'm. So okay, where so does that will. fall? It if falls this, on Kyle. No doubt about it. Falls on Kyle. He should have known. And, and I, my guys need a guy. And Lynch. Yeah. Oh, and, crypto dreams. We got a we got a, we've got a YouTube uh, comment that has been paid for five dollars by Crypto Dreams. When that happens, we share Everything it with you immediately. Uh, to all you haters, a shout out to the new head coach of the Raiders, straight out of Compton. After Sunday's Raiders game, they'll have as many wins as the Niners. Oh my Let gosh. that sink I in. Never That's of that. from Crypto Dreams.